Asia Pacific, a region rich in diversity, resources, culture and religion, where countries strive towards progress in the 21st century. To build and develop, all these countries must be driven by dynamic human resources as the catalyst for development. Dynamic Asia Pacific. The Colombo Plan started as a development experiment conceived during the first meeting of Commonwealth Foreign Ministers in Colombo in 1950. In the post-war years and early post-colonial years, the Colombo Plan was a bold and generous cooperative venture where developed member countries extended assistance for the social and economic development of less developed member countries premised on a philosophy of mutual help and self-help that still holds true today. With its specialized goals, the Colombo Plan was established on the 1st of July in 1951 to act as a regional intergovernmental organization to assist and enhance development and the formation of human capital in member countries to contribute to the region's march towards the new millennium. Since its establishment, the Colombo Plan has been hosted by the government of Sri Lanka in Colombo. Planning prosperity together is the philosophy of the Colombo Plan. The logo is symbolic. The traditional oil lamp represents knowledge and sharing of knowledge. The gear wheel represents industry and the two stalks of paddy represent fertility and agriculture. 26 countries in the Asia and Pacific region are participating and benefiting from the programs of the Colombo Plan, which are Afghanistan, Australia, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Brunei Darussalam, Fiji, India, Indonesia, the Islamic Republic of Iran, Japan, Republic of Korea, Lao PDR, Malaysia, the Maldives, Myanmar, Mongolia, Nepal, New Zealand, Pakistan, Papua New Guinea, the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Sri Lanka, United States of America and Vietnam. The Colombo Plan founding member countries include Australia, Canada, India, New Zealand, Pakistan, Sri Lanka and the United Kingdom. The Colombo Plan supports human resources development in its member countries by providing education and skills development training programs aimed to increase the quality of public sector administration and environment, increase opportunities for private sector development and training to build the necessary capacities of the region's human resource base against drug abuse. Since restructuring in 1995, the new Colombo Plan and its participating governments have the shared vision that the Colombo Plan should be a relevant center of excellence for integrated professional and skills development in the field of development administration and training oriented towards a sustainable drug demand reduction agenda in the Asia-Pacific region. Its mission is to facilitate dynamic professional staff development for member countries by promoting continuous learning, quality service, research culture, teamwork, networking, employing cutting-edge technologies and synergistic partnerships with national, regional and international organizations. The Colombo Plan operates as an international organization under the governance of a consultative committee which meets biennially and a regular council which meets on a quarterly basis. Participating governments are duly represented in all Colombo Plan's policy formulation and strategic planning through their diplomatic heads of missions. National focal points are identified in all member countries as liaison between the Colombo Plan and member governments and as supporters and partners of jointly organized program activities. The Colombo Plan benefits member countries through its various functions. Providing training courses for personnel in the public and private sectors to improve efficiency and productivity. Conducting vital capacity building of stakeholders in Afghanistan on various aspects of drug demand reduction. 
conducts regional programs and customized in-country projects for human resources development in the fields of drug demand reduction and law enforcement. Promoting, coordinating and providing timely advice and assistance to member countries in developing adequate standards for drug treatment in the Asia-Pacific. In this era of knowledge-based economy, the Colombo Plan applies its main strategic focus. The widening and deepening of the participation of its member governments, integrating regional issues with global trends, expanding trade volume, strengthening and expanding linkages with developmental partners, meeting the special needs of member countries in facing drug issues, encouraging entrepreneurship through the fostering of innovation, creativity and critical thinking by applying the Blue Ocean Strategy, promoting green practices through environmentally friendly policies and strategies, improving cross-country understanding and networking in the region through the sharing of experiences. The Colombo Plan's programs, projects and activities are framed in accordance to the organization's competencies achieved over the years in the field of training and the formation of human capital and institutional development. Through the South-South Cooperation modality, the Colombo Plan provides its member countries with appropriate level technologies and relevant development models through training such as uplifting standards of education, improving public governance, strategic planning, social development, being an enabler in entrepreneurship development, certification of addiction professionals and policy interventions. To arm the region's human resources with the knowledge and technical skills to facilitate growth in the 21st century, the Colombo Plan looks to the future with vigour to implement region-wide capacity building programs for human resources development of its member countries in the following areas. Program for Public Administration and Environment Economic Development Skills Development for Poverty Alleviation Empowerment of Women Sustainable Environment including Climate Change Energy Efficiency Waste Disposal Capacity Building for Science and Mathematics Teachers in Innovative Teaching and Learning Approaches through ICT Integration Public Governance Effective Banking Systems Biotechnology Research long-term scholarship at master degree level. Drug advisory program. Mobilizing youth through youth-to-youth -youth drug prevention activities. Conducting training of trainers on drug demand and supply reduction. Integrating drug preventive education in schools. Mobilization of faith-based organizations in drug prevention and aftercare. Support to outreach drop-in centers in the region. Capacity building for developing certification for addiction professionals in the Asia-Pacific region. Program for private sector development. Capacity building in small and medium enterprises for improving quality and productivity. Entrepreneurship and microfinancing and industrialization, international trade and world trade organization related issues. In 1973, the Colombo Plan established the Colombo Plan Staff College, or CPSC, in Singapore as its specialized agency, tasked to conduct technician and vocational training for the Asia-Pacific region. Since 1987, the CPSC has been hosted by the government of the Philippines in Manila. The Colombo Plan has close links with other international organizations as well as national agencies and their centers of excellence in the implementation of South-South cooperation activities. Since 2006, the Colombo Plan has annually implemented a few special projects aimed at community development in member countries. Past projects have included the provision of equipment to the Hardy Technical College Sri Lanka, Bhutan Public Library and support for 40 high school students through the Bhutan Youth Development Fund, assistance to Nargis flood victims in Myanmar, and school supplies for 310 children who were affected by the floods in Pakistan. Contributions were also given to help the Abandoned Children's Center of Sarvodaya Society and in 2011 to start up a revolving fund to provide microfinance to women entrepreneurs in the Jaffna district of Sri Lanka in cooperation with the Women's Chamber of Industry and Commerce.
Under the leadership of the Secretary General, the Colombo Plan will focus on endowing the Asia-Pacific region with the knowledge and skills for public and private sector development through education and training for peace, harmony and sustainable growth. Strategic Vision 2025 Meeting evolving socio-economic needs of member countries, strengthening cooperation with national focal points, promoting strategic partnerships for South-South cooperation, conducting joint evaluation with donors, expanding membership, fundraising through innovative approaches, establishing advisory committee to meet annually, secondment of international voluntary officers to the Colombo Plan Secretariat, member countries becoming development partners, establishing a global network of Colombo Plan alumni. Much has been done, more will need to be accomplished. The Colombo Plan will strive to cooperate with participating member governments and non-governments to realize the region's goals for the creation of world-class human resources, who are, after all, the region's greatest assets to reduce poverty, to become the agents of change and create the strong foundation for social and economic development. The Colombo Plan Planning prosperity together. together.